Go get them. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta let the dogs have fun. Hey, let's look at some pieces this morning. Good morning, everybody. Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates. It is Tuesday, October the 20th, 2020. Or if you're keeping track, it's March 517th. We've got some pieces to show you this morning, about eight or so. I'm um, going to go through the bull sheds fairly quick because you guys have seen some of this business of the Army Green, the Evergreen Gill. And these are headed out this morning to a customer. The Striper. Love these Chesapeake Stripers now. Now, it's not just Chesapeake Striper. Happened to be a Chesapeake Striper because that's what I'm calling it, and that's kind of where I grew up. I grew up on the Chesapeake Bay, and there are loads of striped bass there. However, the cool thing about this fish as a forage fish is that there are so many striped bass that have been stocked in some of the deep water lakes all throughout the country that this is becoming a really good go-to fish and young juvenile bass will eat it, other stripers will eat it. So this is fast becoming one of the most popular patterns of this baby bullshit. Very stoked about that. We have got the three bar peacock um, this is one of the final stages of it and i'm real excited to show it off to you guys this morning i might have shown you another version of this but this one in particular is uh, going to be hopefully hopefully around for a very long time and we have got this almost like a rayburn red pattern without you know the gold slashes but this is that red 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 baby bull shad love it other things are going on as well occasionally i get the honor to paint salt fish some of you guys request salt fish now on some of the bigger baits the swim baits and this is a blue faced angel yeah it's a little bit narrow um, it's on this modded depths which is a really cool bait. Swims amazing. Depths knows what they're doing. They've been in the swim bait game for a very long time. But one of the things that I like about it is that this color, especially with the chartreuse and bright yellow on the belly, is gonna still catch fish no matter where you are. I'm hoping that my client does not use this as a wall hanger and actually throws the mess out of it. Um, I think he is a Georgia guy. So hopefully this will get tossed around a lot but this is the blue faced angel you guys are looking at the uh, actual picture of a blue faced angel but it's got that blue iridescence and kind of fading up into some purple bright yellow and orange tail just a fun 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 pattern to do also on this lucky craft search bait i think it's a search bait bull it's got the prop on the back end of it Lots of, lots of fun on these. I love, you know, that's why widgets get real popular because knuckleheads like me can just sit here and flip them all day long. This has got the second coat on it. I'm probably going to do one more coat for you, Chris, and then uh, get it on its way to you in that ultimate gilt pattern. And you've got some flip-flop paint on the top of it. And then he sent me the original pattern underneath all of this had some gold chromes in it, which I thought was perfect to kind of, you can actually see those chromes underneath, which is going to help catch that light on a pattern like this. So really happy with, I love this pattern. This is absolutely hands down my favorite, favorite pattern for these bluegill. A lot of hand detailing in that. This is a Yozuri 3DB. It's a mid diving down to about 10, 8 to 10, I would say max. And uh, here's the before and after pictures in this. Got a little bit of ribbing in the bottom, really helpful for water displacement and sound. These little Yozuris are well put together. Some of my favorite mid-divers, probably right up there with the rock crawlers. 
These do exceptionally well and hold up. They're very durable, and they're not as expensive, if, if memory serves me correctly. Um, they're somewhere in the 9 to 10. Well, yeah, probably about the same as the, uh, as the Spro Rock Crawlers. But, yeah, just a fantastic little bait. And if I can get a little bit closer on the eye right there, you can see that there's some striping and some veins in this eye. This is a custom eye from John over at Jetson. You can catch him right there, and he also lives on Facebook if you can find him. Um, I don't know what his wait time or anything like that is right now. I know he's got some massive stuff going on in his life as well. Um, but, yeah, that's this is one of the main local vendors I love promoting custom folks here in the states when I can this is also his eye I don't even know what the name of this bait is there's a lot of folks that are using it TJ Hatfield is probably the one guy that's a custom painter that started just when he started painting these things it spread like wildfire you saw everybody using them uh, shout out to Tim over at Crossroad Tackle for throwing me a couple of these as a surprise and with an order that I placed for him a while back. I really appreciate it. I think I have another bag from you that I had no idea was coming, so I'll take a look and see what's inside of that. But hey, Tim, thanks. Uh, got a couple of these as a sample. And from my understanding, they swim pretty well, too. This is on the Zombie Craw, my version of a Halloween bait, and... Um, was having some fun with TJ. He's a really, really accomplished, amazing painter. Um, fastly becoming one of the best painters on the planet. Um, just really does some off-the-wall, out-of-the-box type styles. Love his patterns. So I was joking around with him yesterday morning. I posted this on Facebook and I said, Hey, TJ, why don't you... Because doesn't this look like a finger? Doesn't the shape of this, like when you... Doesn't... Yeah, see? See the resemblance? So me and my weird head, I told him to paint for Halloween like a bloody severed finger. Oh, and he did. You want to see it? I mean, it's it's sick, so be prepared. If you're not feeling, if you're a little squeamish this morning, you don't want to lose your breakfast. But, it, folks, it's an amazing Halloween bait. So TJ, hats off. This is what he came up with on my challenge his immediate response like within minutes of me posting the challenge his immediate response was hold my beer here's the bait <laughs> how realistic is that talk about freddy krueger um but that's what i've got for you guys today TJ, dude, you're unreal. You're unreal. Go check him out at uh, Hatfield's Custom Tackle. Good dude. Solid painter. Uh, heck of a nice guy. And uh, proud to have him as part of the community, for sure. So check his work out. I will see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Happy casting. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. It's always great to see your smiling faces. Love y'all. Mean it. Have a fantastic day. So